Hey everyone, in this video, we'll take a closer look at two of the most popular VPN services in the market. I'll provide you with all the information you need to know regarding NordVPN and PIA VPN, and we'll compare each of their strengths and weaknesses to help you decide which VPN will suit your needs. If you want to check out any of these services as we go along in this review, check out their respective links in the description down below. I'm going to thoroughly compare NordVPN versus PIA to figure out which is the best VPN for you. Now, without further ado, let's get started with breaking down the features of each VPN. When comparing NordVPN and Private Internet Access, also known as PIA, one noticeable difference lies in their user interfaces. Starting with Private Internet Access, it adopts a simple approach. Upon opening, you're greeted with a small window featuring basic functions. You can expand the window to access more options if you want to investigate settings. While it's easy to navigate, some users may find the need for extra windows a bit excessive. On the other hand, NordVPN takes a different approach. It opens in a larger window, providing a list of server choices and an interactive map. The map is a great feature, providing users with a visual representation of server locations and distances. Extra settings are neatly tucked away in each tab, making them easy to find and understand. Both have their advantages, so it ultimately comes down to personal preference. When comparing PIA versus NordVPN in terms of security, both VPNs are strong in their abilities. They both rely on the highest quality encryption algorithms to keep user data safe and secure. Both PIA VPN and NordVPN offer strong security and privacy features, making them reliable choices for users concerned about protecting their online activities. The decision between the two may come down to individual preferences and specific privacy needs. When it comes to speed and performance, both PIA VPN and NordVPN have their strengths and weaknesses. PIA VPN provides fast and reliable connection speeds, making it a solid choice for streaming, gaming, and torrenting. However, I have encountered occasional slowing down in speed, especially during peak times or if they're connected to servers that are far away. On the other hand, NordVPN excels in delivering consistent and high speed performance across its huge server network. This provided me with a smooth browsing and streaming experience. However, if you're in remote regions or with slower internet connections, you may experience slower speeds due to the distance to NordVPN servers. Both NordVPN and PIA have something called split tunneling. The main purpose is it allows you to decide which apps or websites should use the VPN and which ones don't need it. Now let's talk about blocking those annoying ads and trackers and keeping away from those bad websites and files that could harm your computer. Both apps have ways to do this. NordVPN has something called threat protection, while PIA has this thing called PIA Mace. NordVPN proudly says they have over 5,500 servers in 60 countries. Why does this matter? Well, when it comes to streaming, having more servers means you can access more stuff. PIA VPN should be great because it covers more countries, 84 to be exact. Personally, I took advantage of this feature on both VPNs and both of them worked well with my test. I tried to watch stuff on BBC iPlayer, Disney+, HBO Max, and even different Netflix libraries. I could watch whatever I wanted without any problems on both of them. When it comes to compatibility, both NordVPN and PIA VPN have you covered across the board. They provide user-friendly applications for all the popular operating systems like Windows, Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, ensuring that you can use their VPN services easily, whether you're on your computer or mobile device. Whether you prefer browsing on your PC or scrolling through apps on your smartphone, both NordVPN and PIA VPN have apps created to meet your needs. However, there is a slight difference in their approach to device limits. NordVPN allows you to connect up to six devices with a single account. On the other hand, PIA VPN takes it a step further by offering unlimited device connections on one account. This means that with PIA VPN, you have the freedom to connect as many devices as you want without worrying about hitting a device limit. When it comes to customer support, 
PIA VPN offers responsive customer support through live chat, email, and a comprehensive knowledge base. Users can rely on quick assistance from knowledgeable representatives. On the other hand, NordVPN provides 24-7s customer support via live chat, email, and an abundance of online resources such as tutorials and frequently asked questions. When we consider all the features and benefits these providers offer, the real question is, which one offers better value? Let's break it down. In this comparison between private internet access VPN and NordVPN, it's a close call. Both are strong on security, but NordVPN is ahead in performance, especially for streaming. However, PIA shines when it comes to torrenting and allows more device connections. To sum up, both PIA VPN and NordVPN have their pros and cons when it comes to protecting your online privacy and security. The best choice for you depends on what matters most to you, like how you like the interface, how many servers you need, what security features are most important, and what level of customer support you expect. When it comes to pricing, NordVPN offers various subscription plans, including monthly, yearly, and multi-year options. The monthly plan typically costs around $11.95 per month, while the yearly plan is priced at approximately $4.92 per month, billed annually. The best thing about this is if you click the link in the description below, you'll get the exclusive discount. Just click on get the deal once you land the Nord VPN's website and you can get a subscription for as low as $2.98 monthly if you choose their two-year plan. On the other hand, private internet access also provides multiple subscription plans with different pricing options. The monthly plan usually costs around $9.95 per month while the yearly plan is priced at approximately $3.33 per month billed annually. Ultimately, the choice between the two VPN providers depends on individual preferences. If you've enjoyed this NordVPN and PIA VPN review, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I hope you found the video useful. Have a fantastic day ahead.